Hey, hey, it's around here. If you want to have a voice note or an audio file that is available to be shown on your website, your sales page, your homepage, things along these lines, this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. So this is a little strategy that I've actually done in a couple of my sales pages, actually. And I've had good feedback on it from the people that have seen it and kind of paid attention to it. So I've got these two websites here. You can have a look at it for yourself. Uh, this is website number one. This is my tech support membership. And you'll see that basically I have a little voice note that says, short on time, listen to this voice message. And somebody could click and get a little summary from me about what the membership is about. So instead of browsing through this entire sales page, which sometimes those sales pages are really long, right? So instead of going through all of that, they could literally just listen to this voice note and get a glimpse of what their whole page is about. I've got the same thing here, same thing. Uh, somebody could, it says here, short on time, listen to this four minute voice note. And then when somebody clicks on it, it's literally a voice note and it just gets tells you basically what it's about. It's like having a very conversational type of messaging. So I really like that strategy. I've seen it on someone else's website. Uh, it was like a 15 seconds audio and I was really inspired by that. And I thought, let me take that inspiration and use it in a totally different way where it's not just like, hey, thanks for checking my website and feel free to send me an email. It was a really short thing like that. And I wanted to take it to the next level and really just explain what the whole page is about because people are short on time. It's kind of aligns with the audio marketing strategy. Uh, it's a podcast thing world for sure and people like audio so that's that strategy so how do you actually set that up a couple of things with different websites you actually have a native audio element you can upload so if you're using system.io or kajabi for example then you will see when you go to the editor that that element is actually already available so if you just go and see there is an audio element you click on add audio and you'll be able to upload it from your device and so on. Now, the way to do that, because this is already already there basically, you would go to the editor, you would click on add section, and then in here, there's a couple of ways. First of all, this hero with audio, which is what you see right here, which is this one. Second option is you could also scroll to audio and you can see text with audio, and this will be that one. And then there's also just a straight audio file on its own standalone, like so. And you'll just click on add and then you'll be able to upload the audio file and you have different types of customization you can add a thumbnail to it you can give it a title you can put a subtitle you can make a, give it a different color to that particular element once you upload it things along these lines so that's how you would do that in kajabi system io has a similar feature in the element section so if you add a section you see that I added an audio file. And the way this works is if you scroll down, you will notice that there is here an audio. And all you gotta do is just gonna drag it back, drag it in like so, click here. And when you are in the audio, you'll see here that you can click on upload audio file. You would click here and just upload it. Or alternatively, you would embed a, you would also add a link, basically an audio link. Now there's other uh, ways you could do this. I was looking online at ways to embed it with some custom code and things along these lines. When I tested it, it didn't actually quite work the way that, that tutorial I was looking at. If there is a way to custom code and like uh, set up what's called an iframe when you embed a code, and you're a bit of a developer techie person, you wanna fiddle with it and let me know in the comments. If you figured it out and let me know how, I would love to hear from you. Otherwise, let me show you a no code solution that will work if you wanted to embed an audio file. Because I was actually looking at, for example, New Zendler and I couldn't figure out a way, like when I look here at elements, there is actually no audio element that I could see right here. Now, by the way, Zendler, I believe, do have an audio element in the course area, but uh, in the sales page or web blog page, uh, area, there is no audio element. So you see here in the new Zendler uh, course area, you can actually upload an audio file. So you just click here, upload the file, and you'll be able to upload it. This is the course area. So that's how that works with new Zendler. But when we look at the page editor, the actual editor side of things, you could see that I was trying to do a Google Drive, couldn't figure out how to do that. So anyway, that's a different story. Uh, when you look different here at the different blocks or the different elements, you're gonna see that there is a custom HTML, counter timers, icons, things along these lines, but audio, unfortunately, I couldn't see an audio version. So how do you do that if you don't have, if you're using WordPress or you're using another platform that doesn't have an audio file? So what I use is I use a software called Elf Site. 
which is a really cool tool to kind of take things to the next level. So if your website is missing something, Alphasite is really good because they have probably a hundred different embed type tools. So if you look at the different apps, you can see here, explore the widgets. I mean, there is, you can embed an Instagram feed. You can embed a reviews. You can embed YouTube gallery. There is a lot of things you can embed, which depending on what software you're using, you might be missing those feature, for example. So it's a really good solution if you wanted to embed, you know, different things that just don't exist in your website, whether it's systems, Zendler, Kartra, whatever. I mean, you could browse through this so many here. It's ridiculous, right? Um, I actually specifically use it for testimonials. Okay. So you could see here, this testimonials here, that's what I actually use. Uh, it pulls the information from Facebook reviews and posts it automatically. So I never have to update my reviews. It's all already here always which is just so good because I have this on multiple pages and that's why I'm on the paid plan for uh, Elf site. Okay, that's, that's really the main reason why I'm on it. Now, they also have an audio upload. So you can see right here that I was doing a little test on uploading an audio file and you can see here, let me just click on it. It's around here. I'm testing embedding an audio file. So this is just me testing an embed code and you can see here that you can customize how things, the look and feel of the player. And also you can click here on the player. You can customize. Do you want to show the playlist, which is this one disappears. You can also say, do you want to see a loop, which is this one? Do you want to show the progress bar or not? Do you want to have the title viewed or not? So things along these lines, right? You can also see if you want to do like a, a default audio. So this was 50%. Now I'm going to change it to hundred percent. For example, I'll on a web and things along these lines. And also you can actually choose the different layouts, right? So you can see that there's different width, so you can change the width and make it smaller like so. Okay. You can also make it floating. So it's more like on the side, you can make it on the bottom center bottom left, top right, things along these lines. So you can kind of play around with all of that. You could do a minimize button and so on. So now let's look at the tracks. You can see that you can actually upload different tracks. So you would just click on add track, browse file, and you can see that there's different options that you can pick from basically. And in my case, I just uploaded an audio track basically. Um, by the way, in case you're wondering how to even record an audio, there's a couple of ways how I do it. Honestly, the easiest way, I know it's a bit tacky, but I use WhatsApp and I basically WhatsApp myself. Okay. So if you uh, WhatsApp myself yourself and you will see here, there is just a record button right here. And I literally click on record. Hey, it's around here. I'm doing a little test on audio just to show you how to record an audio file for your sales page, your homepage, things along these lines. And now it's basically uploaded it really simple. And here is the audio file. So you would basically really simply click right here and basically download. And now you've got the audio file on your computer. Another way you could use QuickTime player, which is another tool. And this is a, an app tool. So I've got another tutorial that explains about how to record videos and stuff like that. I have a section about QuickTime player as well. So there's different ways to record an audio file. The WhatsApp is really easy because it's kind of straight to your phone. And uh, yeah, that's what I personally like. And I was using the WhatsApp desktop app to be able to um, download it because I have my WhatsApp on my computer. And then you upload it and then you can customize all of this and stuff like that. When you're done, you just click on publish. And then you would click on install and then you will get this code right here. You would click on copy the code and then you would go to your website, whichever one that is you're using. In my case, I'm just going to show you how to do that on New Zendler. So I'm going to go right here, click on this settings button. This thing on the right will open with the change content. You will, you will see here that this is what I was trying to do with the iframe, right? This is a code that I was trying from Google, but didn't quite work out for me. I'm going to click on updates and now we will preview it. And now you will see the audio right here, basically. So obviously we had it set up that it's visible on the page on the, like the floating on the top, which is why it's showing this way. But if you want to make a different, then uh, you can see those the minimize, there's the chapters because it's different. This I uploaded two different things. Hey, it's around. and it's working perfectly fine. Now, if you wanted to change that, that what's cool is you can go back here and it's already embedded, right? So you don't actually have to touch it again. I'm just going to go to edit in the edit, obviously always label things as well. So I'm just going to call this, um, demo new Zendler audio. Let's just say now in here, you will see that the layout, we're going to change it to embed, right? It's going to be totally different. I'm going to click on publish. Now I'm going to refresh this page. 
And even though this cage is, I didn't touch the embed, you could see that now it changed to being shown the embed where it's supposed to be. Now you will see that it says edit widget, things along these lines. This is only visible for me because I am the editor. If I was to go to say incognito window and try and see it, you're gonna see that this is actually not visible what I was just showing you. So let me just show that to you so you can see how that process goes. Incognito, paste it in. And also realize I'm on the paid plan, so there's not gonna be any elf site branding. So I'll show you that in a second as well. But just so you can see what it looks like, uh, there is no elf site branding. It's going to just be visible as an audio. And it looks pretty good, right? So it's, you know, it's great the way I like it. You could do different chapters. If you click here and I click here, Hey, hey, it's around here. What well, you will see if it actually changes. So you can do chapters, you can do podcasts. It's a cool little feature. You can actually really get creative with this. Maybe do like a, a five part uh, podcast type thing or a webinar type thing or, or whatever, you know. So that's a cool way to talk about it. Now, do FAQs and, you know, you can get really, really get creative and stuff like that. I might test it out and, and do an example. If I do test it out, I'll leave a thing in the description. If you want me to do like a, basically like a whole FAQ or a whole marketing thing um, on how to use an audio feature like this on your website, definitely let me know in the comment and just comment the word audio and I'll do something and live in, in the comment section. Now you'll notice that there's no branding, right? That's because I am on the paid plan for Elf site. So let's talk about that for a second. So when you look at the pricing, you will see that you can have 200 views on that page, one widget, and you can have the Elf site branding on. Now, if you want to remove the branding, you need to be on the $5 a month. And this is for a single app we are talking about. So if you just want the audio, that's how that works. Now, if you want to have access to all the different widgets, which is what I'm paying for, then it's 50 a month or 30 a month or more. Now, this is a lot of views, right? This is 5,000 views per app, okay? Which is a lot. Now, I am actually over that limit already with my testimonials because I have a lot of views on my website. So I do get a lot of views because my testimonials, I have it visible in different places. I don't recreate my testimonials. It's always the Facebook embed, right? Like if you go to any of my websites around templates.com or around.link forward slash DCT. Uh, you know, a lot of my websites basically have my testimonials, right? So I've, I'm already kind of at that level. So I need closer to this and therefore I'm on this plan, which to me, it saves me a tremendous amount of time because I do not have to create testimonials for every new sales page. So I like to be having that time saving to me. I save so much more time than the price of the yearly plan, basically. But you can start with the single app, start with free, test it out, see if you like it and do it when it's really necessary. You know what I mean? Like depending on the stage of the business you're at, if you're literally just getting started, honestly, it's a nice to have. I just wouldn't worry about it, but you can use the free version and that's okay too. If that feature is really important to you. So that's about it. If you don't want to test it out, just go to around.link forward slash elf site, around.link forward slash elf site like so this is how you type it and this is my affiliate link and i get credit if you do end up signing up that's how you would embed a audio hopefully i answered that question by the way this question came from somebody in my tech support membership who does use new zendler which is why i had to show a new zendler example uh, but yeah that's how i would do it and it gives you really good flexibility and customization and you know if you know of another solution and you're familiar with this type of stuff you're a little bit more techy leave a comment below let me know what the solution is i'm definitely curious to know what the other people in the community think and say about it because, you know, we can all learn from each other there. I'm sure there's plenty of other solutions that just happens to be the one that I use. And that's where I would go because I already use the Facebook reviews, which works amazing for me in my business. So that's about it. Thanks a lot for listening. Really appreciate you. Hope you found value in this. And um, I'll sh show you somewhere around here. A little video explains a little bit about my tech support membership in case you're curious about how it all works. So uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll speak to you soon.